Hi, this is how to make natural baby powder. I am Tina Monk. This is another video in the natural baby product series that I am working on. This is the recipe that I'm using, so you can uh, pause the video and write this down. You can also customize this and do, use different herbs if you would prefer. Now I am using my Ninja Bullet. Um, but if you do not have a Ninja Bullet, uh, you can use whatever else you have that will grind this to a fine powder. And I am grinding the herbs and the non-nanoparticles zinc oxide together first. You just want to make sure that the bentonite clay does not touch anything metal. There's just um, information out there that it just it can hinder the detoxifying properties that the clay has. So you just want to make sure that when you mix the clay in, that you use something like plastic or a silicone spatula or something like that. And I've had these shaker bottles for quite a while, but I believe I got them from Elements Bath and Body. And once you um, put the cap on these, you're not going to get the cap back off. So um, there will be a one-time use bottle. And it's not recommended to use air root powder in your natural baby powder. I know there's some on recipes online that have it but um, it's been shown to feed yeast, so if a diaper rash gets really bad, it can actually uh, make the diaper rash worse. So you just want to make sure that you uh, leave that out just to be on the safe side. And this is also not recommended um, for infants under three months, and that's just because when you're um, applying the powder, it can become airborne, and then it can become a, a lung irritant as well. So after you get it finely ground, um, the herbs and the zinc oxide together, you just want to mix it in to the clay. And remember not to use anything metal when you're stirring the clay. And all you basically have to do is just stir it, you know, incorporate it evenly. And then you're going to fill your bottles however you want to fill them. And if you don't have a shaker bottle, um, you know, use whatever you have on hand. And also remember that I do not recommend using essential oils until age two. None of these baby products um, that I'm making have essential oils in them. And if you've done any research on um, like the baby powders that are in the stores, you've probably seen commercials about the talc that has been linked to cancers, even in women, the ovarian cancers and things like that. So we want to avoid all these nasty ingredients that we do not want to put on our babies. So this is a much b better option than um, using the store-bought stuff. And, and these all these baby products are super easy and quick to make. You know, and it's so much healthier to make stuff at home and you know what's going in to your products and what you're putting on your baby. And I think that's just so important. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. Um, you know, this is pretty straightforward. Um, I will be doing some more videos uh, too. I'm going to be working on a, another liquid soap video, and um, there is going to be a uh, breastfeeding nipple cream as well, too. I'll be making that one soon. So thank you so much for watching and please like, subscribe and share and have a great day.